Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the error code 1310 where you're trying to write a file on your Windows system and come across this error that says that you have to verify you have access to that directory. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to go ahead and start by opening up the start menu. Just go ahead and left click on the start button one time. Type in run, so R-U-N, best match, should come back or run, or it might be one of the best matches in here. You don't want to select anything else, but you can see there's something that says run right above desktop app. We're going to go ahead and select that one. Just given how Windows 10 organizes files in the start menu, it's a little hard to tell exactly where one is going to show up. But on Windows 7 and Windows 8, it should be pretty clear. I believe also if you right click on the start button, you can go ahead and left click on run through that as well. So once you're in the open field, I'm going to have two commands in the description of the video. The first one is going to be the same thing as the second one, except it's going to say unregister. So I'm just going to copy from my description and paste it into this run box. So control C on your keyboard, then control V to paste it in here, or you can just highlight over, right click and copy, and then right click and paste inside the run field here, whatever you prefer. So I'm going to do the unregister command first and left click on OK. And once that one is done, so it might not take very long at all, you want to go ahead and open back up Run once again. This time you can see Run is the first and best match. I don't know why it does that on Windows 10, but we're selecting the same Run that we did the first time. So again, Run right above Desktop App. I'm going to go ahead and select that. This time we're going to type in the second command or paste it in. And this one's going to be a reg server, so we're just basically registering it. And once you're done pasting that in, go left click on OK. And hopefully that should be about it. Restore your computer and try and run the application or process you were having the problem with before. And hopefully that should be able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.